Giant metal butterfly stands watch at the pollinator section of the Mobile Botanical Garden. It's here that Amanda Wilkins shows off dozens of plants that can attract the shimmering insects. You know, if, if you want a diversity of butterflies, you have to have a diversity of flowers that bloom at different times of year. Wilkins says butterflies not only like variety, they like color, meaning the flowers in the pollinator garden are striking. Having a successful butterfly garden isn't just about having pretty flowers. You also have to give their caterpillars something to eat, like this plant called a golden alexander. Butterflies choose to lay their eggs on this uh, particular plant because when the caterpillars eat it, there are chemicals that the caterpillar incorporates into its body that makes it um, so it's poisonous to things that might want to eat it. And then there's this, an odd-looking thorny plant called a Hercules club. It's native to our area and important for all stages of butterflies. This is the host plant for the citrus dog or the giant swallowtail butterfly. We have about three groups of, of giant swallowtail butterfly. They're huge, they're about this big, and um, big and black and white, absolutely gorgeous. And their caterpillars can be almost two inches long and they'll completely defoliate this. So here's a rundown of some plants you could add to your garden. For butterflies, sunflowers, hibiscus, baptisia, and salvia are all great. For their caterpillars, try golden alexander, hercules club, passion flower, and even small trees. So turn your yard into a buffet for these bugs, and you'll see a lot of fluttering this summer. For Fox 10 Modern Living, I'm Matt Barentine.